class, welcome to another episode of Matina Dali Pilipinas. In today's video, we are now going to solve problem involving rational function. So we have our problem here, so let's try to solve it. Ferdinand walks 5 kilometers from his house to DV Mart to buy a new bike, which he uses to return home. He averaged 10 kilometers faster on his bike than on foot. If his total trip took 1 hour and 20 minutes, what is his walking speed in kilometers per hour? Use V equals D over T. Let's read it again. Ferdinand walks 5 kilometers from his house to DV Mart to buy a new bike, which he uses to return home. He averaged 10 kilometers faster on his bike than on foot. If his total trip took 1 hour and 20 minutes, what is his walk? walking speed in kph use formula v equals d over t so let's try to solve this problem so let's write the given unahin natin yung formula ng binigay so define natin v equals d over t okay v here denotes speed t is for time and V is for distance. Okay? So that's our formula. Dininote na natin lahat ng variable. So we have, so again, let's say, drawing tayo bahay. Ferdinand's house. And DV Mart. Let's say this is DV Mart. Distance is 5 kilometers. Okay? So, from Ferdinand's house to DV Mart, distance is 5 kilometers. Okay? So, we have given, walks 5 kilometers. That's distance. D is equals to 5 kilometers. Another given, the average 10 kilometers faster on his bike than on foot. This is his speed on bike. So, we have, let's say X speed niya nung naglalakad siya on foot while x plus 10 since mas mabilis siya daw speed niya sa bike okay another given if his total trip took 1 hour and 20 minutes so t or total time is equal to 1 hour and 20 minutes okay so, let's convert this, simplify this. Since ang hinahanap sa atin is in terms of hour, kailangan yung unit ng time na meron tayo, ilagay na natin sa hour. So, 1 hour and plus 20 minutes. Convert natin yung 20 minutes natin into hour. So, we have 1 hour per 60 minutes. So, cancel natin minutes. This is 1 hour plus 20 over 60. Okay, to sim in simplify natin, total time natin is 4 thirds hour. Okay? Okay. So, ito na lahat ng given natin. Meron na ba tayo na miss out? Okay, wala. What is required of us? What is required? Or what is asked? Is? What is his walking speed? So, that's X. So, X. Walking speed. Walking speed or speed on foot. Okay. Okay. Solution. Solution is, first, identify our relevant function. So, given naman tayo ng formula, eto na yung gamitin muna natin as basis. So, V equals D over T. Okay. Now, in, up to, in approaching this problem, we try to solve it in terms of time. Since given tayo ng total time. So, total time. So, arrange muna mo natin. V equals D over T. Arrange natin in terms of time. T is equals to D over V. Okay. Meron na tayong function in terms of time. So, given tayo ng total trip. So, time it takes. So, T total. Equal lang to sa... Time niya na nag-travel mula Ferdinand's house papuntang 
DV Mart. So that's T1 first. Next, from DV Mart to Ferdinand's house. That's T2. Yung T total natin, alam natin to. That's 4 thirds. Ito kayang T1. T1 naman is his speed from Ferdinand's to DV Mart. So, so alam natin, D over V. Distance from Ferdinand to DV Mart, that's 5 kilometers. Over V, speed niya. From Ferdinand's to Ferdinand's house to DV Mart. Speed niya is X, kasi naglalakad siya dyan. Okay, plus T2. Gamitin ulit natin tong relationship. D over V. From DV Mart to Ferdinand's house, that's still 5 kilometers. V niya, speed niya, nung nasa DV Mart papunta kay Ferdinand's house, that's X plus 10. Okay? So now, we have our rational function. Tama? Our total time, 4 thirds. Time it takes walking from Ferdinand's to DV Mart. And time it takes from DV Mart naman to Ferdinand's house while riding a bike. So we have our rational function. We'll try to solve it. So to solve it, find the LCD or simply multiply na lang natin kada denominator. Okay? Hanapin natin yung LCD nito. So basically what we are gonna do is multiply na lang natin by each of the denominator, both sides. So 4 thirds times 3 is 4 is equal to 5 times 3. 15 over x plus 15. 5 times 3 over x plus 10. Then multiply naman natin to by x. We have 4x is equal to 15. Okay. Plus 15x over x plus 10. Okay. Then lastly, multiply natin. Para mawala na sa ating denominator. So 4x times x plus 10 is equal to 15x plus 10 plus 15x. Okay, simplify natin. We have 4x squared plus 40x is equal to 15x plus 150 plus 15x. Okay. Next, let us simplify. We have 4x squared plus 40x is equal to 15x plus 15x, 30x plus 150. Okay, then lipat natin sa kabilang side. Since meron tayong 40x dito, may, may x naman tayo sa right side. Lipat na lang natin lahat. We have 4x squared plus 40x minus 30x is minus 150 is equal to 0. Okay. Then simplify, 4x squared minus 10x minus 150 is equal to 0. Okay. We have uh, this one. So, pwede pa natin siyang isimplify, tama? Divisible lahat ng terms by 2. So, divide natin by 2. Both sides. Divide natin both sides by 2. We have 2x squared minus 5x Sorry, this is positive, no? 40x minus 30x. This is positive. Plus 5x minus 75 is equal to 0. So, we have a quadratic function. And we expect na meron tayong two possible solutions. Okay? So, to solve this, we will try to factor. Okay? To solve this, factor natin. So, factor 2, x, x is equal to 0. So, factor ng 75, 15 and 5. First thing that come up in mind. So, try natin. Hmm. We have positive 15, I guess, minus 5. So, tama, 15 times negative 5 is negative 75. Okay, so let's try this one. Then, 15x plus 2x times negative 5 plus negative 10x that's positive 5x then 2x 2x squared okay mukhang ito siya so we have solve natin 2x plus 15 is equal to 0 
2x is equal to negative 15. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to negative 15 over 2. Another solution, x minus 5 is equal to 0. x is equal to 5. Okay, we have two solutions. Let's try to sa sa check if alin yung tamang solution natin. Check to check. Substitute natin siya dun sa na naging function natin. Which is this one. Tama, 4 thirds. Total travel time. Ta x equals to 5 over. Unahin na natin yung positive solution natin. 5 plus 5 over 5 plus 10. We have 4 thirds is equals to 1 plus 5 over 15. Okay. Then 4 thirds is equals to 1 plus 1 third. 1 plus 1 third is 4 thirds. So yung positive solution natin na 5, nag-fit siya nung chinect natin. Na pag ito yung speed niya on foot or walking speed, 4 thirds yung travel time niya. Okay? Now, what if we use this one? Negative 15 over 2. Well, I guess, I believe this doesn't make sense since negative yung value ng speed natin. Okay. But you can try to check this at your home if mag-valid siya. No? But negative speed in this kind of problem, negative speed is not what we are looking for. Okay? So, we we go for this solution. Kilometers per hour. Okay. So, meaning, uh, to have a total travel time of 1 hour and 20 minutes, Ferdinand needs to walk 5 kilometers per hour so that uh, 5 kilometers per hour and 15 kilometers naman. Sorry, that's 5 plus 10 naman. 2 from DV Mart to Ferdinand's home uh, using bike. Okay? So, our final answer would be 5 kilometers per hour. So, that's all. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you on our next video. Thank you.